Hey everyone, today I'm doing an avant-garde look. Um, I was just mucking around playing for the hell of it, so, so that's what I came up with. Um, I'm using Benefit's Erase Paste as concealer. Um, all over my face, on under my bags, redness on my skin. I end up covering most of my face in it because I want a really, really matte, um, flawless finish to my foundation accidentally deleted the foundation that I used. Um, I used the Kryl and Cream foundations in the, it was a light cream and a medium kind of brown. I just mixed them together and then applied it and then set it with a Napoleon Purtis camera finish. Now, then I did some contouring with the CoverGirl powder in 160 and used the NYX Mosaic powder to highlight the areas of my face. Now I'm taking Rimmel Black Eyeliner and I'm going to fill in my lips, or well, line my lips and then fill them in. As you can probably notice, um, I've got quite red irritated eyes. Um, I'm suffering from a bit of hay fever at the moment. It's really high in the pollen count here in Australia because we're coming into spring and summer. Um, so I'm filling in my lips with a black pencil now. Um, sorry, I'm a bit out of the screenshot. Um, I'm going to overdraw my lips just to make them look a bit more pronounced and full. Now I'm going to fill in my brow with the same black pencil um, just to make it really sort of defined and harsh. That's what I'm kind of going for. Uh, I suggest if you want longevity to set that with a black eyeshadow um, but because I was doing it just for playing around. I didn't need the longevity of putting an eyeshadow over the top. I also didn't apply, apply a primer to my face either. I didn't see the point. With the other eyebrow, I'm going to fill it in with a white BYS uh, eyeliner. Um, to do make a similar shape as the other one, and we're actually going to fill it in and make it pink. With a Bella Pierre pink pigment. Because my brows are quite dark, I had to do a fair bit of white eyeliner to mute out the dark brownness of my eyebrows. I got this tip from um, Let's Make Up or Siobhan on YouTube. That's the finished look. I apologise that you didn't get to see me finishing the lips. Um, I applied a gold pigment. I'm showing you now. There they are. That's what I did. I didn't do any blush or anything. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, kind of, and um, I'll see you all soon. Bye.